Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking about an important technique for both Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. It is using a Suicide King to help tank for wall breakers and funnel your queen into the base, typically on a queen walk, but not always, sometimes for just suicide heroes. Um, it's worth a video on because it's a very delicate technique and you have to do it in a very precise way. So we're gonna take a look at a bunch of attacks today that use this technique. This first one is one of my attacks, and like I said, it's often used on a queen walk, not always, but often, and um, the idea is the king doesn't do a whole lot on queen walks typically. Um, there's no kill squad, there's not really a great place to use him, so your best bet is to save some troop space and use him for two things that you otherwise would have to use troops for, that is tanking for your wall breakers and helping funnel the queen. Also, he tanks for the queen to save you from having to use a rage or um, the ability. Now, notice how you drop down the king to tank those defenses, to drop in the wall breakers. Um, sometimes you have to save his ability because if you pop the king's ability, he'll move faster and he might go out of range of those defenses. So the longer you wait, it's better. Once the wall breakers have successfully opened up the wall, then you can hit the ability and let him uh, take out the trash. Sometimes uh, it's a good idea to drop the wizards, a few wizards behind him, just to see if you can pick off a few defenses. But in this attack, the queen gets those defenses anyway, so it wouldn't really, really made a difference here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and fast forward because the main focus is the beginning of these attacks. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show the rest of the attack. Um, it's just hogs for the rest of the base. I have an extra rage, so I'll drop that on the hogs over the high HP wizard towers uh, expo. Um, and that helps them take out the base a little bit quicker. So that's the idea. Drop the king a little before the queen goes in that direction. Now this is assuming you're using the king on the same direction the queen's walking. Sometimes the king gets dropped before the queen and that is to help funnel her in one direction. This technique that you just saw is to help push her into the base. You take out all the external trash um, that the queen would otherwise follow along and that cuts the funnel to push her into the base for an actual, actual queen charge. If it's just a queen walk, you might find yourself using the king, um, letting him walk the opposite direction as the queen to take out the trash that would otherwise be um, having her go the wrong direction. But this is to push her into the base. So once again, drops down the king here. He's going to tank for these wall breakers. Also, um, he's tanking these cannons. So this is something that's often not um, given full credit for is the king can take a few point defense off of the queen for a little while which sometimes saves you from having to use the rage or the ability but right here he takes out the trash helping push the queen into the base he also tanked two of those cannons for the wall breakers and you want to set it up so the queen and the king combined tank all necessary defenses and that way um yeah actually right there this is a good place where the queen might go to the outside of the base if there is uh, buildings up and the king does a great job taking those out, preventing the queen from leaving the base. So that's why it's better than using a baby dragon or a bunch of wizards. He does a better job creating the funnel and he's able to tank, which is an, a thing that um, typical funneling troops can't do. So it's a good thing to use on a big queen charge attack like this. If you're doing a smaller queen walk, um, oftentimes you'll have a kill squad anyway, so your king will be used in that. This is not, honestly, the king is a pretty valuable um, asset. So this isn't a great use for him, but the fact is in these types of attacks, you don't have a whole lot else to do with him. This is the best value you can get from him. And as you saw, there's three different things he can do there. Um, and that those are all things that would otherwise have to be done with regular troops that take up troop space. So, and they're less reliable as well. So anyway, the balloons move through the base here. Um, go ahead and fast forward as we get through this attack and we'll move on to the next one here. <clears throat> I think we have a few Town Hall 9s, maybe one more Town Hall 10 uh, towards the end. I'm not sure the order these are going to go in. But anyway, nice attack here. Um, doesn't even have to use the Queen's ability and finishes off the base for the 3-star. Let's move on. This is a Town Hall 9, yep. Um, 
and this one was Suicide Heroes. So I like this attack because it shows you don't have to use the king in this way. Um, if it's a queen charge, you can also do it if it's just a Sui hero attack. Um, drops down the king, funnels him to the side here. The king is going to do a few things here. He's going to tank for the queen, tank for the wall breakers, and help funnel the queen into the base here. So you want to save your queen, if you can, for the parts of the attack where her range is important. You don't want her taking damage uh, while she takes out stuff that the king can otherwise get. So notice how he's nice and patient on the queen. The king actually goes into the base, but he leaves it, which is even better because he needs the rest of the funnel to be created here. And then he's just going to drop the queen directly into the base to target the defensive queen in that air defense. So great value, good placement on the queen there. She'll take out the cannon. Uh, fortunately, the king did not take out the builder's hut and possibly lure out the CC and trigger the queen. That could have been a bit of a issue. Um, he, the wall breakers arguably were a little bit early, but the reason is that cannon, it's kind of a balance between... Uh, you don't want to drop the wall breakers too early and let the king enter the base because oftentimes he won't get the rest of the funnel that you want and it doesn't help to have the queen and the king both inside the base because the healers might switch. So typically you want the king to not go in the base. So you have to be patient enough on the wall breakers that you don't open up the base for the king. But if you wait too long, he'll stop tanking certain defenses. He'll get out of range and then those defenses can target the wall breakers. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Good awareness on that troll Tesla. I'm not sure if that was, if this is a cleanup attack or not, but if it's if it was a fresh hit, it's always a good idea as you're doing your law loon, if you can, to have a few extra loons and check for those troll Teslas in the corner of the base. Once again, there's one right in that corner. So nice three-star attack here. I assume it was a fresh hit. Otherwise, he probably would have taken out those Teslas at the beginning of the attack. So has an extra heal spell, didn't even use. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the next attack here. I think we have a Town Hall 10 and then one more Town Hall 9 before we wrap this up here. Once again, another Queen Charge Hog attack like we saw at the beginning here, starting off with a few wizards to break the initial funnel for the Queen. Um, but once again, the King is going to be used to help funnel the Queen inside the base and do the two other things we talk about, uh, tanking for wall breakers and tanking for the queen. The king is a very high HP troop, so it, he definitely can tank for a while, and if you use him correctly, you won't have to waste the rage or the ability necessarily, and sometimes we'll even tank the CC troops depending on the situation. So down goes the king, goes ahead and uses a rage because the queen has to take out the defensive king anyway. That's not avoidable. Um, but the king is going to create a good funnel, and I would have dropped a few wizards behind him. I think that is, it's no, it, there's no way of knowing exactly how things will path, but oftentimes you can get like a defense or two taken out, because the king will tank and some of those wizards will take out the defenses as they're targeting the king. Bit of a wall breaker fail, um, he hit like a small bomb there, so he had to open up the top compartment before the wall breakers would target the next wall. So as you can see here, the queen has to swing through it because he ran out of wall breakers, but not a huge deal. Um, he will pop the ability and she will take out these expos wizard towers. Very important defenses. Expos and wizard towers um, are probably the biggest issue for hogs, mainly because of how high they are in hit points and the amount of time it takes the hogs to get through them. So keep that in mind for your hog attack planning. Queen finishes off the rest of the base as she meets up with the hogs and that will finish up this attack here. So we'll fast forward to the end and take a look at one more Town Hall 9 example of this attack before we wrap it up completely. Uh, so a ni nice attack to LV and this one here is a dragon attack. I knew you guys would like this one. Um, once again, doing a queen charge, all four air defenses, very accessible for the queen here, so drops her down. Um, I like the patience on the healers because there's no need to drop them yet. This way they won't get uh, hit by some of these air defenses if they come in at a weird angle. It allows him to uh, drop them at a better angle here, so um, it's not an issue. Goes ahead and drops down the king, and also you, you have to funnel your king. The king can't just wander around, especially when you have all these layers of trash buildings. Another thing, make sure your queen is getting targeted and not your king when you drop the healers, because the healers can sometimes switch onto the king, so you want to avoid that. Make sure the queen is either taking damage or 
Um, she's nowhere near the king or the king hasn't been deployed yet. Something to ensure the healers stay on the queen and don't target the king. So right here, good value. Uh, great wizard. I was saying that earlier. This wizard, I think, will um, help take out the cannon. The queen was on it anyway, but it shows what I'm saying. Uh, the wizard can take out um, stuff behind the king. Also gets a few shots off on the baby dragon, which was nice. And you can see this is a tough one to funnel the queen into. There was a lot of trash at the 6 o'clock of this base. And potentially the uh, the queen could have walked out uh, right here. But because the funnel is so good, um, you can't put a price on good funneling in Clash of Clans. Well, I guess you can put a price on it. But it, it would be a high price in most attacks because it's very important to do and because it was done well, it will allow the dragons to get through the rest of the base here, which is mainly just some archer towers, not a huge threat to the dragons. Um, so nice poison on the queen, and this attack will fast forward. The dragons move so slowly through the base here. Um, has a few extra balloons as well. Not a bad idea to bring a few minions if you can afford it, because the dragons are slow, especially with the queen walk. Time is an issue, so if you can take out this trash simultaneously, um, it's sometimes a good idea, but uh, time worked out fine here. A few back-end balloons, two rages he doesn't even need, so nice, nice planning there. That was awesome. Anyway, that will do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember the king, few important things to highlight. I've said it a bunch of times, but I love to drive home these points. First, he can be used for the funnel. Second, tank for wall breakers. And third, tank for the queen, so you don't have to use the rages or the ability as much. Um, try to drop him a little before the queen and try to um, ensure that he does not go inside the base or the healers do not switch onto him. Those are two main concerns you want to avoid if you're doing a queen charge, that is, for the healers there. Anyway, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisect the Tron out.